You want to log into Microsoft Teams? My name is Szymon Bochniak from Microsoft 365 AdWork. I will help you to do that quickly and secure way. When you're starting your work with Microsoft Teams, the first thing you need to do is to log into this application. You have two ways to do that. First is to use the browser. Any modern browser Chrome Edge will work in this scenario. The only thing you need to do is to put teams.microsoft.com address in your browser. And when you will open it, found the login page to Microsoft Teams provided by Microsoft. On the landing page from Microsoft Teams, the only thing you have to do is to sign in. You will be redirected to the login page to the Office 365. It will manage your authentication to Microsoft Teams. You will need to have your email address, which will be your login, and your password to log in to Microsoft Teams using browser. One more thing, if your organization using multi-factor authentication have your phone in your hand, probably you will need to check your SMS message or Microsoft authentication app approval. So at the first step, put your email address as your login and move forward to the next step. In the next screen, you will need to input your password. As soon as you will be ready, sign in. You can expect to have additional authentication provided by SMS message or Microsoft authentication app. In this case, I will use SMS message to my smartphone. Put the code in the form and you will be able to move forward. As soon as you will put your code in here, you can sign in to Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams will open in your browser almost fully functional version of your Microsoft Teams application based on your modern browser in your desktop. Another way to sign in to Microsoft Teams is to open the Teams application and then you will get exact same process of putting your email and your password to authenticate to Microsoft Teams client-based applications. After you will put your password and your login, the Microsoft Teams application will open up. You can see it's almost the same with the browser application, but remember few functionalities are present only in the client application, which is highlighted in your taskbar in Windows PC. Perfect. Now you know exactly how to log into Microsoft Teams. Signing into this application is probably your first step in working with this tool. So remember, the only thing you need is your corporate email, your password. If you will lost it, you can remind it or reset it during the process using forgot the password button. And then when you will log into the application, you are good to go to start to work with this quite complex app to extend the way how you communicate and how you collaborate with your colleagues. In the description of the video, you will find all necessary links to the login page to Microsoft Teams, to Microsoft Authenticator app, and additional articles and materials that will help you to get as much as possible from Microsoft Teams application. If you want to get more valuable materials about Microsoft Teams, leave the thumbs up, leave the subscription, and see you in the next episode.